guys, welcome back. So it's been a while since I've uploaded, and when I say a while, I do mean a long time. So I've been away, I've been working hard on this video, I've recorded it multiple times, I've researched into it as best as I could with everything I had. I wanted to make sure that this video that I do, I get it across in the correct way, but then I just thought to myself, no matter how I do it, it's still going to offend someone out there. So, what is this video you ask? Well, today I'm going to be talking about what it's like having anxiety, specifically GAD, also called G-A-D. Now I'm going to be breaking this video down into four key sections. The first will be what it is and the symptoms. The second will be the cause. The third will be how I cope with it and, you know, my struggles and day-to-day -day life and then fourth will be help and support so my little strawberry shortcake with me today that's what i've named her after the classic strawberry shortcake if you are too young you may not know what that is but for those of you who do good on you but yes without further ado let's just get straight into this video GAD, also known as Generalized Anxiety Disorder, is the persistent feeling of anxiety or dread which can interfere with day-to-day -day life. People who live with GAD experience frequent anxiety and consistently feeling on edge, not feeling relaxed. Like This can range from weeks to months to, to even years. Uh, now, GAD has a lot of symptoms, okay, and I'm going to be telling you what my symptoms are. This does not go for everyone, okay? You can research it yourself. GAD comes in many forms, many shapes. So many mental and physical uh, um, symptoms that you can that one can go through. But for me, um, I'm just going to pop a list on the screen here of, of a few GAD symptoms that, that I have. So the first ones you can see here is difficulty con controlling the feel of worry. So that could be something small. For example, I've got to get the bus and my bus is running five minutes late. That is basically like a domino effect. That one word, it's going to be late, triple sounds. It's like, it's going to be late. And then if it's late, I'm not going to get to work. And if I can't get to work on time, I may get in trouble. If then if I get in trouble, I could lose my job. And then this could do this. And then what will I do if I'm you know, can't pay bills, and if I can't pay bills, then I'm not going to have a place to live, and if I'm a place to live, I'll be home. It's like, triples down on top of itself, and it, it sounds really crazy when you think, but you're like, really? Yes, really, that is how it is for someone who has GAD. I mean, again, this is all my personal experience and what I go through. This can vary from person to person, but other stuff, as you can see on here, is feeling restless, wound up, on edge, having headaches, muscle aches, stomach aches, um, and unexpected pains. And, like the common ones out there, like the most, the most notorious ones are like overthinking, having trouble concentrating and memory fog, short breath or forgetting to breathe, which I can attest to because I will do that. I'll have moments where I'm focusing in on something and I'll forget to breathe. And I'll, I'll give you an example of how it goes. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> it's kind of like that feeling because I'm so concentrated on what I'm doing and I'm so, you know, trying to focus on it and not, and not stress about anything else that I forget that I actually am a human and that I need to breathe. So <laughs> that is one of them. Mixing up words and uh, when speaking, um, fidgeting, adding extra words to sentences that aren't necessarily needed. They want to make sure they're getting everything out of their head that they have. So they're just going da -da 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 -da, and they're not really processing it. And if they do get told information, they again can sometimes forget that with the, with the whole like memory fog, you could tell me something. And then if I'm stressed out, I could go walk away and it just go straight out of my head because in that short spam of going from A to B, I'm like, Okay, I need to say this, I need to do this, I need to da, 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 get there, sit down, oh no, what was I supposed to do? It's like, this again does not bode for everyone. I have to keep stressing this because I know people are going to be in the comments like, this is, I have this, but this is not what I feel, and this is not how I act, this is not what I do. Okay, that's fine. Like, good on you that you don't experience it the way that I do. But everyone is different and we need to treat 
mental health awareness and as not everyone fits into the same criteria we had that standard where someone says they have anxiety that just means that they're scared to leave the house or they're scared to talk to people but it isn't just that like you could someone could have anxiety and be the most happiest go lucky person on the world they could go out and talk to their friends they could be in a joy adventure but that still doesn't take away the fact that they have anxiety they're not all put in the same box each person is different well there's there's actually quite a lot of factors that play into it um maybe some that you're aware of some that you aren't i'm just gonna go through a list of what i have here um that can experience to it i know one on this list um definitely one or two on this list definitely plays effect in it for me so firstly the gene you inherit from your parents second having a history of stress or traumatic experience such as domestic violence uh, child abuse or even when you get bullied at school that this could range um having a painful long-term health condition so a history of drug or alcohol misuse now that doesn't necessarily necessarily mean yourself that could be a family again that that goes back to sort of stress and traumatic experience whether it's you or it's in the family i'm gonna tell you something now funny enough although the things i've just listed um, are a few factors. Many people develop GAD for no reason and that sounds really stupid like what? They're, how can you get something for no reason? There's always a reason behind it. And you would be somewhat right and somewhat wrong. Do I cope with it? So this one is a little bit of a tricky one because I had to actually write <laughs> write a lot down for myself so I wouldn't forget because I had so many thoughts and feelings in my head that I wanted to get out. Uh, so for me, I I try, I, I, I do try a lot to not let myself have loads of alone time. Um, there's, when someone is alone, it's the opportunity for their brain to start making up stuff, to start going down that rabbit hole. Because there's no one or nothing around you distracting you from having those thoughts. It's like, you could be in a room with a bunch of people and then you walk off somewhere by yourself and you're sitting there, no one's around, you don't hear nothing, it's peace and quiet and that's when your mind can start to wander and it'll start to wander and it'll start to pick up little things and it could be your past trauma that you thought of that you think back to and it, it starts from there and just like, oh, remember that time when that happened? But then I could have stopped that. But then could I have stopped it? Because then if I stopped that, that would have made him a good person. But if I'm a good person, then that wouldn't have happened to me. And if it didn't happen to me, then I didn't need it. And it's like that, it's like that train fog, it's like that path. It's, it's like I said, a repeating thing, memory fog. It's exactly like a domino effect. It's just you take one thing, you knock it down, and the rest just come tumbling along with it. And unfortunately, that's there's nothing that I, I can do about it except from try and not let myself have that sort of that alone time that space where where my mind gets the opportunity to wonder for me i try and go to the gym or be active or go out i, I try and use the time where i'm doing something because if i'm constantly doing something i'm not really thinking of um of you know of that moment it doesn't mean that i run away from problems it just means that i would prefer to keep my mind active and going while thinking about it because then that way if i'm doing something and still thinking about it it's not gonna weigh heavily on me as it would if i was sitting there alone and just letting it play on repeat <clears throat> so another thing i would say that when i actually got diagnosed with um gad and I can tell you about how, how that came about. For sure, absolutely, I went to, I felt certain symptoms and I, I just thought it was part of anxiety, you know? It, it was a it was a difficult, difficult thing for me when I first went out because I, I didn't know what to expect. I've, I've never heard of it. It was just like one, one day I was like, I need to go to the doctors because I'm having symptoms that just might be linked to anxiety. And because I knew that it ran in the family, I, I thought I would get it checked out. I, I did my own research, I'm not gonna lie. I, we all do our own little research when there's something wrong. We always go to the handy Google and think that will solve our problems. They did mention that it could be GAD, but I didn't wanna, you know, run with that. I wanted to kind of 
try and keep an open mind. I went there, I told them why I thought I had GED. I told them all about my, my past and what went on there and the symptoms that I'm having personally, the symptoms that I read about. And then after that sort of like, conversation that's when she said to me you are correct in what you thought you do have GAD and you know that there, there's a lot of stuff that that we can do about it and I'm gonna come on to that in just a second but she was like there's a lot of stuff we can do you do have that um you know she she taught me for it she told me what tips and tricks I can do and how um I you know to try and live with that and one thing that she recommends me which which, which brings me on to my next part so I just mentioned to you guys that I found out by a doctor so the support they offered to me was a couple of options firstly was medication now I can already hear the keyboard warriors typing yeah doctors always want to put you on medication when you have this because they think it's so and so and it's like yeah, well, we did offer it to me, but they never made me go on it. That was an option that they offered due to the fact of sometimes with GAD, that can have a deeper effect. Like, people sometimes with GAD can also start having depression, and because that is such a big thing, you know, and given the fact of what I told them about about my past, they just wanted to offer that there as, a, as an option. They didn't say I had to do it. They didn't force me on it. It was just... An option that was available if I wanted to. The other options they provided to myself was CBT, which is also known as Cognitive Behaviour Therapy. If you, if you want to look more into CBTs and, and how they work, please do. I, I will link something in, in, the, in, the, what's the word? in the description that will explain that to you because I found that really helpful for myself. Um, they also recommended therapy and counselling if I wanted to, just to talk about past traumas that, that I went through. Um, I, I opted for the CBT because that was my opportunity to not only take part in something with other people and when i say with people i don't mean like a like a group like we meet somewhere and it's like a massive group it was more of like an online thing with like zoom meetings where you would join you would have your mic muted they would talk about how to live with gad how to cope with it stuff that we can do to kind of prevent those thoughts from turning like a minor thing into something really really like over the top and not necessarily the case um they they gave you the chance to do a worry journal if you want to i declined out of that because i i was not comfortable with doing that i didn't want to do that that's not something that really piqued my interest but for those of them that did it they said it was it was really helpful from from one girl that i spoke to bless her she she said it was really helpful for her but yeah, I mean, they, that is a very good thing to help you understand it. I wouldn't say it cures you, but it definitely does give you a deeper understanding of what you have and kind of how to go about the day-to-day -day life. I mean, it, it's not perfect, okay? Nothing is meant to be perfect. If it was, everyone would do it. But it was there to to help, you know? I, I never did the counselling, but I'm sure that's helpful for some people as well. If, if you know... If you don't want to attend Zoom meetings and, you know, listen in and you prefer to talk about your problems face to face with someone, then go down that route. You know, if you prefer to have medication because of underlying, like, conditions like depression or suicide or stuff along that lines, and then go for it. I really wouldn't suggest taking this video and being like, okay, what she said makes sense to me. I have GAD and, and run with that and just be like, yeah, this is what I have now. I watched a video and they told me that I have this, so I have it. I really do recommend that you speak to a doctor, a nurse, someone uh, who's a medical professional who can look deep into that and see if that is the case because it could just be the generic anxiety or it could be something deeper like GAD or social anxiety or... I'm trying to think of the other one off the top of my head. Um, if you guys know the other types, then, you know, pop that pop that in the comments below. I, I really don't suggest that you make these sort of things up on, on your own, you know. There, there is a lot of stuff you can do, okay. Aside from the stuff that I've mentioned, that I'm going to put a list here of the other stuff you can do. So we have, like, going on a self-help self -help course. 
looking at physical health, such as exercising regularly, muscles, mm, avoiding caffeine is one of them as well. Uh, if you're a smoker, I think is on there as well. You can avoid <laughs> avoid smoking or try and cut it out. Um, I will be linking a lot of stuff at the very bottom of this video. So one, once you've finished it, if you do want to kind of research more into into this or, or even do the self-help courses, I, I will link those down below. They'll be at the very bottom for you. I'm going to list it as help and support. You guys can click on the links. You can, you know, research into it. You can take the self-help courses. You can do, like, stuff to figure out if that is the case. And then if you want to talk to a professional about it, go for it. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to make you do that. I'm just here to talk about my experience and my life living with, with GAD and, and you know that that's all I'm here to do, that's all this video is about. Um, I will be taking a lot of time to edit this once this is done and try and make sure I go about it in the best. I, you know, I really hope that today's video gave you guys the insight into not only my life but into what goes on in the world other than just, you know, the day-to-day -day lives of having having anxiety. I, I would love to talk about more of my personal experiences that I've had. I would love to do more videos on them. I feel like it's great to spread that awareness and that knowledge out there. Um, if you guys do want to see that, I would be so up for doing that. You can let me know in the comments down below how you felt about this video if you want me to do more videos similar to this or if you just kind of like the video as a whole i would really appreciate you know you let me know in the comments and maybe even hit that subscribe button and ding the bell or do it the other way around if you're fancy about it you can ding the button and then hit the subscribe button whatever works for you but yeah that'll just let me know that you guys are enjoying my videos and if this one isn't your cup of tea then guess what I've got other stuff for you. I have K-pop reactions. I have singing videos. I have vlogs. I have makeup. I have fashion. I have them all. So, you know, I even have gaming, by the way, on the second channel. So, if something, if this isn't your video, then guess what? There's a bunch more for you to choose from. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Because it's like 22 minutes long, give or take. And, yeah, I don't want to overload you guys with, with stuff. But, yeah, we are going to peace out and make some food.